podcast dudes. <laughs> okay guys so we're here at chance's house and we're going to start test fitting the front fender flare We've got gabe painting parts for an atv which we also like to work on too so we got this old used one that we're bringing up to date and uh but all in all we're going to cut down this fender flare and see if we can get it working and fitting and uh Never done it before, so let's see how well this works out or if we're gonna end up scrapping because we overcut or something. Fingers crossed, measure eight times, cut once. Yeah. Um, like we said, we've never done this before. <laughs> yeah. And right. it's not even for the car. So this is all new, we've never done it before. Huge trial and error, a for very sure. risky one, but hey, you guys enjoy the videos. We enjoy making them. That's right. Um, we even so, had a question like, why wouldn't we just change it to buy an FRS? But if we bought an FRS, you would be watching this video because there's no entertainment. There's too many yeah. FRSs out there with these wide bodies anyways. There's too many of those videos yeah. already to yeah. just go make another one. I mean... So let's have fun with it. Yeah. Fucking what's crazy. The, what's the fun in that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, right. do something that shouldn't be done. That's right. So let's give this a shot. So now it's time to like check this out. So we got the, the fender flare here. Obviously it's too long. The FRS front fender sits fo so much further back than the uh, Scion TC fender. So um, here, like it kind of has like this like down then ups and then down slope. And so I actually want to, I'm thinking about changing it to where it's just going to continuously be a nice rounded top slope, kind of rounding off to here and down and same here. Like if we have it here on the car, I don't know, does that look straight to you? For the most part. Yeah, it's about right. A All right. In the front, but... Okay. So obviously it's not going to align here the same. It's pretty close, but um, the tab here actually shoots in an upwards direction, kind of like it's uh, meant, I mean, obviously meant for the FRS. <laughs> <laughs> So, obviously not meant for this car. No, not at all. So, you know, we technically really don't need that because you got rivets that are going to hold here, here, here. Oh, man. Some good intention. These workouts have been working out. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyhow. So, so, I wanted to actually come up. It's going to hit this fender line that's right here. And then as it's probably after this rivet hole, swing down and kind of curve. So we're probably even going to end up eliminating those other rivet holes, right? Yeah, I mean, probably. Right? So... Well, that's because you, you still have that cap that sits here. Right. Which, which is... Right over here. Right here. And this would sit like so. But, depending on how much we cut here, well, we're not going to have it stick out and then come down, so we'll have to cut here. Right. Which also helps to you know, make space for the canards themselves. Yeah, exactly. Um, once again, having to eliminate some of the brackets. Um, and then we'll probably even trim it here. Yeah. At that line, because this other piece technically isn't necessary. Maybe we could even heat it up with a heat gun. Could. Right? Yeah. Basically, we'll get to that. Um, yeah. That hill once we get there. <laughs> no. uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll figure this out later. Uh, being that we need to figure this out first and yeah. hopefully we don't screw it up and cut more than we should be cutting. It's kind of scary. Uh, so, yeah, definitely. I mean, right. you know. This is where that, you know, I, I come across this moment where I kind of wish I was happy and 100% content with the... Um, the clinched. The clinched. Yeah. Because it would have just been a let's heat mold and, yeah. and rib it on where this is going to take a lot of work. So with that being said, we screw this up. <laughs> We have a clinch set. That's right. And that's so, a whole lot easier, less bull crap. Right. Super, super minor, like, heating and molding, yeah. which is like one little section by the side skirt. So don't worry, folks. We screw this up. We have a completely different set. And we'll make a video on that, too. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like a win-win for you folks. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. And you guys spend zero dollars. That's right. And at least you'll know... Don't go this route at all, because, well, unless we succeed, then you know, oh, hey, yeah. this is the we can go with an go. FRS kit on a TC, Yeah, which eventually will get danced on by Disco Cats. That's right. 
You know what? Now that I'm even like looking at this, I'll probably heat that up. Heat that up and bend it out, right? So it still goes into that fender in section. In between the fender and the bumper? Possibly. Gonna have to go grab that heat then. Yeah. All right, so let's get this done. So this is the part that I'm talking about heating up. Let's see if you can see it. So it shoots up in, a, in an upwards direction. And for my car, I technically don't need it to be in an upwards direction. Unless it's meant to for whatever reason. I guess what I'll do is pull out this piece of my bumper and find out. And if not, I'm heating this bad boy up and we're straightening it out. So I pulled off the front piece of my bumper and I am noticing that it is different, of course. It's a different car. I know. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to straighten it out and then I'm going to cut to where I only have like a thin sliver to where that part tucks in. So I'm going to do that right now and uh, we'll go from there. Don't touch the tip of that bad boy, it will burn your skin off. <laughs> Good way to lose your uh, finger. To the bone. To the bone. <laughs> so nice how easily it moves once you've heated it up. All right, so there we have it. Pretty straight. So now it's time to trim and cut. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I've taped off the line that I wanna follow. I'm pretty much cutting off this entire section, except that much. And that should be just enough to tuck into the fender, at least to hold it in place for now. So of course, once again, the old trusty saw blade. Still works better than a Dremel just because it's not going to heat up the ABS plastic and because I know how to work it really well. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to laugh for saying that. Oh, good, you know how to work. That's right. You just do it nice and slow. You let the saw blade do the work. No need to like really force it in or put a lot of pressure. Just nice even strokes and it, it pretty much will go straight. Or for my case, just follow the, the tape. Yeah! My foot! Pieces off. Actually came out looking really good. Look how nice and smooth that is. So of course I'll take the power sander to it and clean off all the excess plastic. Oh, it was sweet. It's pretty slick, right? Yeah. Almost looked like it even came that way. Yeah. Right? I like it. Oh, let's hope everything else comes out. <laughs> that, 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 that crisp and clean so and let's smooth. Let's see. All right, so Gabe started off the tape because I don't like this shape because it's technically designed for the headlight and uh, there's no need for it. I know there's a rivet hole there, but I'm not even worried about that. There's one here and there's one here. I was originally going to cut way far down like this, but uh, Gabe the babe pretty much decided you're an idiot <laughs> and you can actually keep that rivet hole. Uh, Basically, it, it's just going to give it the curvature that it we feel it needs. Right. Um, personally, I thought getting rid of that last rivet hole was going to be a mistake. Um, and kind of figured it out. Just kind of a trial and error on taping it. Um, but basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take that little 
a hand saw, uh, cut along it as straight as possible with it, and then take the orbital sander and actually smoothen out that curve. Um, obviously, you know, once again, just trial and error. Hopefully, it, it comes out as smooth as we want it to. Uh, the taping is as, as proper as it can be as far as shape-wise, and hopefully it comes out on the first shot. See how it goes. Oh, yep. So remember, measure a thousand times, cut two or three times. So the shape here, I think, looks actually pretty damn cool, you ask me, yeah, right? And so this is still gonna take shape here, but right now I'm not too worried about it. This is the main part. So we pretty much cut this section off because obviously it comes pretty far onto the door. Now we did cut it at an angle so we started like thinner on the top, but because the door section here starts to come out outwards, we um, pretty much cut it at an angle. So that way when we did take the time to measure that out and shape it, it's gonna actually have, I'm gonna have enough material, I guess you could say. And so it's already two o'clock in the morning. I'm getting tired. I'm sure Gabe over here is getting tired too. Guy's going a little crazy. He's not even wearing pants anymore. Nope. <laughs> nope. Well, I'm not in the screen. <laughs> so I'm not going to face the camera that way because we we don't want some of y'all to fall in love that quick. <laughs> so yeah, this is true. So we're ending today's you know deal. I'll finish recording this segment tomorrow, ending on actually taking the shape down uh, to the door. What I was planning on doing was maybe getting a piece of cardboard and shaping it and then setting it on here and actually like tracing it on and then making the cut. That works. I think it'll work. Here we already sanded it down with the power sander so it's pretty good and smooth. We did notice that it was gonna take a, just a little minor heating here and just kind of pulling in. Right. Just so it kind of closes the gap a little on the fender. And that way uh, some double-sided sticky tape I guess, right? Yeah. Hold it on. Yeah, the worst case. Uh, but I think heating it alone should do pretty much right. the trick. The back section, like like we like mentioned, is just go a little bigger, cut two, three tiny slivers till you get to the point right. where you actually want it. Um, and considering that we still need to cut the fender to yeah, that is compensate correct. for that piece, which I think looks cool. And um, what I could even do over here, what I've been talking to Gabe, I'll probably practice with this plastic, is like heat it and try to get the rivet indention shape which I think I can still master because yeah. this stuff, um, when you heat it well, it bends very easily. And so I'll probably get that shape and still make a rivet hole there. And then of course my rivet holes here. So we'll see. Stay tuned and I'll finish this off first thing in the morning when we get up. Cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what I've done is I've set them side by side to kind of show you the difference on what I've done and where I'm at at the moment. So this is the, the original. So you've got the longer cap here and then it's got the shape. And then here, it's got that little kick out. And so I ended up cutting that off and that's what gave me this smoother look here. And so it actually it looks so much better on, on the uh, TC with that. And so I did have to end up cutting off the one tab or the mounting point here. So what I figured out is that I can actually make that mounting point by heating up the plastic and setting in a, a, the tip of a butter knife, believe it or not. And it'll make the exact same shape. And so that way I'll gain a, a mounting point again. And then what I did was, is I ended up cutting off that end of that cap but the thing of it is, is I don't want to put it on at this moment in time. So this is where I'm going to end this first segment. And the reason being is, is I want to be able to like cut this piece of the fender. And so that way I can pretty much mount it onto the car and make the cut perfectly, or at least draw the line on the backside and it go perfectly to the fender. And so I don't have too much or too little and so that's my way of playing it safest so I can make sure it comes out right. Because if I go and I like try to shape it or if I go and get let's say a piece of cardboard and try to shape it with that, 
I could go terribly wrong with it. Um, <laughs> could either come out way too short, especially because the TC, see, I mean, of, of course, like any door, it kind of curves, but here at the end, it kind of has this kickback. And so I, I want the actual fender flare to go along with that kickback. That's why I cut it at an angle when I cut it like so. So it does kind of follow this, especially because it comes to about, actually to about this point where I have my extended side skirt. And so I have to, you know, cut around the fender here, follow this line like so, and then cut down. So I'll probably do that this weekend and uh, get that done. out make your own tool a little bit of sanding and some shaping it'll come out so I have the cap so the caps gonna need some decent um, shaping as well one because the inside curves inwards and uh, on the scion it's a nice square so i'm gonna have to heat that up and pull that straight a little more um secondly i want to get rid of this tip one because i want it to still stay in shape with the actual um, fender flare itself and two i have these diffusers here which i'd like to keep and so when i put this on it kind of hits the diffusers for one um, two on the FRS you have a fog light here mine sits way up front so I definitely don't need that anymore even though it looks like it'd go with this diffuser really cool like and then um, after I pull this forward I should be able to set this in a little better and if not I'll just cut off this tip so it does fit but I also want to do the shaping of it because as I said it here it doesn't it doesn't go with the shape at all and so what I'm gonna do is round it off I'm thinking to about this line so it has a real cool round off effect and that way it stays in good shape it keeps with the actual TC body so that's it for this segment this weekend I'm gonna shape this one as well get it to at least this point of course i'll record just in case i make any different changes i'd also like to go ahead and man as much as i don't want to do it i i have to do it it requires it but i guess cut off the fender so i can go ahead and start shaping this rear cap to it and uh probably buy some molding clay so i can finish that rear uh, pizza slice and start shaping that rear fender flare so a lot of work and i have to get it done in a little time you know most guys do most of their cutting themselves but on the rear quarter panel because it's two pieces of sheet metal i'm gonna have uh, a relative of mine who's a body a body man i'm gonna have him do all the cuts and make the weld so it comes out just right and perfect and so that way it seals up right i, I see a lot of guys do it themselves and and they just don't close it up right i'm a little picky about it and so I want to just make sure it's done and unfortunately that's the one thing I, I can't do so maybe I can pick up some pointers while he's doing it and show me how so that's it for today if you have any questions comments leave them down below subscribe help me uh, out I need to hit a thousand subscribers you know and so that way I can keep this thing going and the more the merrier of course and um, help show your support thanks guys for watching I hope it's it's meeting people's expectations have a good one